Okay, now we want to talk about what a migmatite is. So let's go back and talk about what an igneous rock was. An igneous rock starts out as a liquid, a melt, and then as it cools off, it crystallizes into an igneous rock. So far, we've been saying that metamorphic rocks occur when you heat or apply pressure or hot fluids to a, uh, any kind of a rock, and then you change it but you don't melt it. So, because if you melted it, when it recrystallizes, it would be an igneous rock. So there are some geologists that would like to have a fourth kind of rock. So that you would have igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, metamorphic rocks, and then migmatites. So a migmatite is kind of halfway in between the metamorphic rock and the igneous rock. So that we're going to take uh, uh, any kind of a rock and we're going to metamorphosize it but we're going to apply so much heat to it that part of it begins to melt and then as that part melts it can flow and then when it recrystallizes then it's not quite an igneous rock because the whole thing did not melt and it's not quite a metamorphic rock because part of it did melt, but what you end up with is this kind of a taffy looking kind of a rock, which is going to be called a migmatite. So it's partially metamorphic and it's partially igneous. Okay, let's take a break and when we come back we will talk about what, where are the places where you find metamorphic rocks.